high atop Maryland Stadium. It's Terrapin Tuesday as we talk football. We just saw Matt Canada talk. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner, intern Mason. Bruce, what'd you make of Matt Canada's press conference today? Well, I thought he did a nice job. I mean, he gets fired with, you know, probably 15 questions. 12 of them were not football related. And uh, he, he, he handled them well. He was well prepared. And he said what he had to say. And uh, I'm, uh, you know, what I got out of the press conference is that uh, I think we're going to see a good offense. I just have that feeling about him. His reputation precedes him. And what he did at Pitt and the fact that he was running LSU's offense, whether it was great or not. But uh, it seems like he really likes his quarterbacks and he would not commit on the starter. Seems like it's Kasim Hill, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. No, it depends on what package they put in there. Mason, we took a good look at that depth chart. What surprises popped out? Well, not much other than we will see Brendan Moore, who's actually on the center of the year award watch list playing guard this season, set to start over Terrence Davis as a right guard and Johnny Jordan, the guy that you expected to get out there on the field, yep. now the starting center. I think Johnny Jordan's going to be the leader of this offensive line for three years. He is a true center. Brendan Moore, some other skills. He went to high school in Texas. We saw his, most of his family down there when we saw Texas play in Maryland last year. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Help us support for your computers and networks. Managed services and 24-hour-a-day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits. Get help when you need it by Terps That You Know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. Uh, my takeaway from the press conference is that Matt Canada has a much different attitude. He seems like a much lighter, more fun guy than a lot of football coaches. He's well, quick to smile. He can laugh. He's not overly tight. No, yeah, it's you know he's thrown into a very very tough situation, and the key thing is is how will the team come out? Do they come out like uh, looking behind them, or or they come out saying you know we're going to play this year for Jordan? I think I think it's the second. Yeah, play because, for Jordan. I think if they do that, I mean you see them on Twitter. They're still they're still going. Right. Whether the rest of the world is still going with them, they still they can't wait to get out there. Because for them, football at this point has got to be therapy. Right. Football's easier than real life for what's been going on here. Playing oh, there's football. no doubt. So, yeah, it's going to be a relief to get out there. I actually think they're going to come out flying against uh, Texas at FedEx Field. That game's on Saturday at 12 o'clock, and that's FS1? Yeah, it's uh, set for Fox Sports 1. And all you Comcast subscribers out there, Fox Sports and Comcast did reach a deal. So, And BTN? Yep, BTN, part of the Fox Sports family now. So BTN's back on Comcast. That'll be good. I didn't there. know they were gone. They, for a bit, they were gone. I've heard people dropping their Comcast when we were to Verizon. Well, without BTN, you can't have, you got to have BTN. Or right. else you perfect. watch BTN all over the place. You bring it with you on your iPad. You, you're watching it all over. I watch it all the time, everywhere. I mean, there's nothing more... You know, who cares about the ACC anymore? I want to know what uh, Ohio State's going to do. And, uh, you know, and Urban with that tough one-game suspension. Yeah, that's right. tough. Three. So, three. three. No, three. one. No, he, can prepare the, he can prepare the team in games two and three. But he can't be on the sideline. He can't be on the sideline. Well, whatever. So we have some shows coming up. We have Terp Talk, Coons Ford Terp Talk on Wednesday on 1300. Take it. We're talking football. Talking football for sure. Talking football. We're talking uh, tough soccer loss. Women's soccer's off to a great start. Field hockey's three and zero from the West Coast, mm -hmm. but it all comes down to football tomorrow, or on, on the show, and uh, we'll cover that game from A to Z. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure Mace is ready for a in depth description of the game. By the yeah, way, speaking of in depth, yes, yes, we have an in depth look at the Maryland offense that will having a minor change now that Johnny Jordan is on. But it's an in-depth look at every running back, what they're going to do, and at the quarterback situation. That's what I want to hear and tomorrow. That'll be up on Terp Talk. It is up on Terp Talk right now. Right now. Okay. All right, and then Saturday will be all pregame at nine o'clock as Sports Maven starts rolling on thirteen hundred CBS Sports Radio, covering the pregame of Maryland, Texas, and I'm sure you'll get some of your uh, uh, Premier League soccer in there. Well, Tottenham's three and zero. So right. is Liverpool. All right, and uh, looking forward to it. And the Orioles won last night. Can you yeah. believe it? The Orioles actually won Monday night. All right, 
Monday Night Fever. Yep, you got it all. All right, we will see you multiple times this week, and of course from the field after the Maryland Texas game for Bruce Bowes. I want to make one statement. Last year, Mason shocked me, shocked me when he predicted Maryland was going to beat Texas, and he said it in a way that he felt it wasn't going to be an exceptionally tight game, which it wasn't. You know, so I'm looking forward to his predictions this year. We'll have our usual predictions on Saturday. Uh, last week we went over the top ten, mm-hmm. and we'll look at the big game of the week, which is Notre Dame and Michigan. 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 Hey, where's that at? That is at Notre Dame Stadium. That is a big game. Big game. All right. Now we'll close this out for Bruce Bosner. For Mason, the intern, I'm Wayne Viner. We will see you on the radio tomorrow night. Good afternoon.